Great to have you with us here for the follow through. I'm Pastor Fred. Uh, we are listening to God. We're living for Him each and every day. Uh, so hit that subscribe button. Uh, I want you to share this with somebody and, and grab your Bibles because uh, we're going to look at Ephesians 6 verse 10. And, and, and this passage reminds me of just like how, how much I forget about who God is. You know what I mean? I forget that he's done this for me. I forget that he died for me. I forget that even though I don't deserve it, he comes to me, forgives me, gives me life, gives me hope, uh, and that I have this amazing uh, like Lord of all who is there in my life. Now, when I'm doing something like this, boom, I am like focused in on that. If I'm at church, boom, same thing, right? I'm just there, I got it on a lock. But there's so many other situations that maybe you find yourself in, maybe I find myself in, just going to the store, maybe going to grab something to eat, uh, maybe talking about something uh, with, in your business or at school, you got, you got some math work and you're like, what does that have to do with God? What's well, got everything to do with Him? Everything has to do with Him. Ephesians 6.10 says, finally, after, after he said all this about Jesus in the book of Ephesians, in his letter to these people, he says, all right, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Don't forget how mighty he is. There's a lot of things that, that, that claim to be strong, that claim to be mighty. But let me just tell you, if it's not God, it is gonna let you down. I, I, I speak from experience. So many things, like my, 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 even personal things, like my own intellect, my own cleverness, or my own sense of humor, or my own resourcefulness, or whatever it might be, whatever you might be like going, okay, yeah, I'm really good at school, or I'm really good at my job, I'm really good at that sport, and, and, and I might go like, you know, I, I, mean, I forget who gave me the ability to do any of those things to even step on the field, to even go near the, to even know where the field is. All from Him. T take some time today and just think about all the things that you do, what goes into it, and, and just how God has dialed all that in. Every, every bit of it from Him, from His great might, right? That's where our strength is. So, so He's not saying don't be strong, but be strong in the Lord. And here's why, because that will never, ever disappoint you. That will never, ever, he will never, ever come up short when it comes to strength, the, the strength that you need in your life. It's just incredible. So, so I pray that that reminds you today and just, again, take some time and, and just be reminded today and be encouraged of the, in the strength that he has and, 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 and how he makes you strong in him. All right, have a great one, and we'll see you next time for another follow-through.